So just had a great little experience. Decided to go uh, 7-Eleven real quick. Just off the random, it was already 12.05, 12.06, what have you. Currently it's about 1.08 in the morning. Get to 7-Eleven, pull in, you know, see a couple to the side. I was busy dealing with something on my phone. I get out and I'm walking in. I hear somebody, you know, calling. So, you know, I turn around and see what's going on. And look like they were going through whatever they were going through. They asked if I could get them some water. I said, hey, you know, don't worry. You know, it's a small thing, got you. And it seemed like, you know, they didn't really want to ask. But it was like, you know, you might have we get some chips or, or something, I guess, you know. They were dealing with what they were dealing with. It wasn't on me to judge. It was a small request. It seemed more than very genuine. So I was like, okay, you know, cool. I walk up to the 7-Eleven doors. They're locked. A little strange. So I'm like, okay, maybe the guy's in, in there using the bathroom or something like that. And, you know, he'll come out when he's ready. I wait five minutes. The lights turn off. I'm like, all right, I'll wait another, you know, I'm waiting more time because I'm like, these, you know, they seem like what they ask for they actually need. Like they genuinely need. So I'm waiting there. I don't know how long I was waiting, but eventually I was like, I'm just going to go to the next one. So I get in the truck to go and they're like, you know, he, I get, I, they were, spoke mostly Spanish and a little bit of English so it was a little bit of language but it wasn't too much of a language issue because I do understand some Spanish so you know it's just just getting things lined up understanding what's going on so kind of asked me like you know it, you know they, I guess they realized the place was closed too they asked if I had five bucks I didn't I don't carry cash uh, when I do carry cash somebody asked me for you know I'm not going to walk around just throwing out 20s or anything, you know, nothing special. But if they ask me, hey, you know, you have a couple of dollars and I have a couple of dollars. Hey, they seem genuine or they just, you know, they ask for it. Hey, it's a couple of dollars. Money ain't going, you know, it's not going to kill anybody to give a couple of dollars away. Go to the other 7-Eleven, some water, some chips, you know, get some cash back from 7-Eleven. You know, it's not hard at all. So, you know, I went back to the 7-Eleven that I was at that was closed. Well, you know, it being closed, I guess, the, you know, I thought, okay, maybe they just decided, you know, it's closed. Nobody's going to come here. You know, if, no, there's no way for them to get water sitting at that 7-Eleven. Well, at that point, that was just like an emotional drain. It just messed with me. So, um, I'm, you know, there's apartment complexes. I'm moving around. I'm trying to, you know... I'm in a U-Haul rental truck, so I'm pretty sure it looks pretty crazy me creeping through neighborhoods. Luckily, nothing nothing went wrong. So, I, you know, creeping through the apartment complex, I, I don't see anything. I'm like, you know what? So I'm like, all right, I'm just going, I'm just going to go home. But it's something I wanted to do. So I probably made it about a quarter, half a mile. I was like, nah, I'm going to go back one more time and see if I can find them. I'm going to go to the other side of the street where, you know, the Taco Bell's still open, so I'm going on that side. See, maybe maybe they're over there because, I mean, they genuinely seem like they were going through something. Finally get, you know, get back there. I'm almost at Taco Bell. I see two people walking down the street. Now, I recognize the blue hoodie, I believe, that she had, like, wrapped around her. So I slow down, and they look up. And they see me, and I see them, and instantly they're like, oh, you know. I'm like, oh, snap, it's them. And, you know, they kind of had this oh snap you know dude came back so like they ran across the street they were just so happy so just gave them the water the chips the, the couple bucks and i mean they were genuinely happy like i heard her talking overheard her talking to him and she was speaking spanish and she was like i'm hungry so it definitely was the right thing to do and even though everything didn't go how how so you wanted to plan if it's something you want to do, go back, get it done. Because if it's the right thing to do, sometimes forces just put obstacles in your way to see if you really want to do it or if you were just doing it to because you felt pressured. I didn't feel any pressure. Honestly, pressure would make me do the exact opposite. It's just how, how I am. I'm not very, I'm antisocial. If I don't know you, I'm not going to 
approach you to start a conversation. If I, you know, see you and you see me, I'll wave, nod, be polite, but I don't go out of my way to speak to people. It's just not how I am. But I, I felt like this was the right thing to do. So if I had to do a little extra to get it done, it's just what I had to do to get it done. And yeah, I feel pretty amazing. Even at one o'clock in the morning, cause I gotta be to work at eight. So I'll probably be a little too energized for the next hour or two. So I'll probably go to sleep about 2.30, 3 o'clock and wake up at five or six or whatever. And this will propel me into my work day. I'll feel much better at work because I got this done. And yeah, I'm a little bit more happy than I probably should be, but I'll take the wins that I can get. Not everything in this world is bad. Peace.